Hi, this is Tracy HD, and I want to thank you for joining me today for our daily Oracle and Tarot card reading. And today's reading will be for Wednesday, May the 11th, and we're using the Wisdom of Avalon Oracle deck by Colette Baron Reed this week. And let's get started with the reading. As I shuffle the deck, I'm asking all light beings, angels, and God, please relay the message you need to share with my viewers for the highest good of all. And we have card five, the novice. In the middle, we have the hawk. And bottom, lady of the lake. What a beautiful lady she is. Okay, so we have the novice, card number five. Lady of the lake was card eight, and the hawk was card 11. So we have the novice, and it's a beautiful card. Okay, and this person here, I guess, is the novice. And the card reads, innocence, beginner, ignorance, new skill without practice, unstable curiosity. So the novice, we're beginning something, okay? We're beginning to take something on. Maybe you're taking on a class or course of study. You could be attending school. You could be doing an online course. Maybe you're getting involved with card reading and, and learning how to do something spiritual, Maybe you're getting interested in crystals and uh, maybe Reiki healing. Whatever it is, okay, we all started out as novices, okay? We don't become professional or all-knowing overnight. It takes time. But the most important thing is that you begin, that you start, and each day learn something new. And then the middle card, uh, the hawk. And it is a beautiful hawk. And I believe in bird omens. I believe that, you know, different types of animals that cross your path have spiritual symbolism. Okay, and the hawk is no different. This card here is saying omens and messages. Okay, are you paying attention to animals in your life that cross your path? I have a dove that is outside this window every single morning at exactly the same time at nine o'clock he or she shows up rain or shine she'll be doing this cooing for like a, a good 20 minutes and then she's on her way and to me i see that as a symbol of peace and at that point i think to myself you know whatever i'm doing at the time is this something that's going to make my life peaceful or am I giving into anxiety or overdoing something? It makes me stop and think, okay? Because these animals, like I said, they cross our life, okay? Across our path, rather, each day have meanings. A lot of people um, like to look up things on the internet about uh, black crows and the meanings of black crows, okay? If you see one crow, it means this. If you see two, it means another. If you see three, um, it goes on and on. Uh, same thing for other animals. I mean, if you have a squirrel in your yard or maybe you see a deer, okay, um, any animal, any animal that crosses your path during the day and brings your attention to it has some type of a spiritual meaning or omen to it. So pay attention to that because maybe Whatever you're embarking on could be a very spiritual thing. And these animals could provide you with what you need to know. And then we have the last card, the Lady of the Lake. And she's a strong looking woman. Okay, and it says absolute truth, courage, self-respect, responsibility. Yeah, she is. She's standing in her truth. She's going to live her truth. She's going to be authentic. She's not going to let anyone talk her out of it. She's not going to let anyone dissuade her. She's not going to let anyone discourage her. She is standing in her own power. So how interesting it is. We first have the novice. And maybe you're embarking on something, okay, that you're going to have to stand in your truth. Maybe it's something other people may not approve of, like, you know, some type of spiritual thing. But guess what? It's not their life. It's yours. 
no matter what you're starting, okay? Pay attention to all the signs and omens that will point you in the right direction on your path. And always, always, no matter what, have self-respect for yourself. Be strong. Stand in your, your strength. You know, have courage. Okay. Seek out the absolute truth. And no matter who approves or disapproves, re remember, it's your life. You have the right to live it however you want as long as you're not hurting someone. Very interesting. Makes me want to take up a different area of study. <laughs> I think I better just settle down and, and concentrate on what's on my plate right now because it's quite a bit. If you've enjoyed this reading, please subscribe to my channel because I will be back.